Hey folks, I'm David Breer. Before the festivities well and truly begin, I just wanted to share with you and wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from 11FS. And really what a year it's been. I mean, on the podcast alone, we've spoken to some really, really amazing people this year. Will I am coming on for the second time. Loads and loads of Klarna executives following that really, really cool Snoop Dogg investment. We've had Ruben Lay on from, who was at the head of Grab Financial. And in a year that's seen those guys go from strength to strength and a super app with all of the amazing stuff that's actually happening over there in Southeast Asia. We've had David Duffy on, the CEO of CYBG, in the year that actually saw them buy Virgin Money, a brand that we're really, really excited to see what happens. We also had Anthony Thompson on, former founder of Metro, Atom, and now making waves down under with 86400. We've had certified startup genius Nick Ogden, founder of ClearBank, WorldPay, and now working on a really cool thing called RTGS Global that you need to look at as well. I personally managed to go and interview Patrick Collinson, the CEO of Stripe, uh, over on the Money 2020 main stage, which was amazing. Some really, really interesting interviews that came out of there. I think one of the really, really interesting ones that we had was Tom Blomfield come on. With all of the bizarre happens that happened around everything that was going on with their AML procedures and the expose that came back from the BBC, he came on and talked to us first before anybody else, which was great. And we've had really so many other amazing guests come out through, through this year. I think both in terms of the inside shows and everything that we've had, and the podcast is getting better and better and better. We've also hosted some really great insight shows for things like mortgages, jobs to be done, and actually the remedies fund. You know, everything that happened with the RBS remedies this year has really just been one of the, the stories that have run and run and run. One of the other things that we've really tried to do is lots more live shows, whether it's at ZeroCon, Money 2020, Cybos, or at Fusion One, uh, as well as four awesome after dance that we've done, uh, launching the first one of these that we've actually done over in New York as well. Finally, we've continued to have fantastic guests. I mean, the, the show does not exist without amazing people coming on to really dissect what's happening in the latest news, the announcements from around the industry, and many, many more things as we look to just have some good fun as well. There have been so many amazing stories and guests to shout out, all of them individually, but if you think we've missed any and actually you've caught another one, I mean, head over to 11fs.com to check out Fintech Insider, uh, and actually you can pick up that on pretty much any of those mainstream podcast distributors that are out there. I mean, for 11fs itself, we've gone from strength to strength. We've outgrown, I think, two offices this year, which is kind of crazy, scaled up to 170 people across the five businesses that we have, and even opened up an office over in New York, which is awesome. I really can't tell you how proud I am of everything that we've achieved this year. It really feels like we're moving that dial within financial services, and as we set out to change that fabric of financial services, it feels like we're on track to do it. I mean, if you're interested in getting involved in that and want to join our growing team, hit us up over on our careers page over at 11fs.com forward slash careers. And if you've not done it yet, if you really haven't understood the fact that we did a documentary this year, like I'm not sure what planet you could have been living on seeing as I've been shouting about it literally for three months now, but we did 11 Years, The Rise of UK Fintech, which really looked to showcase senior leaders from across the industry. I let them tell their story about actually how the UK really rose from the ashes of the financial crisis uh, in order to really become the fintech hub that it is today. You'll be in good company for that as well. You'll be joined by, I think it's 225,000 people have watched it now. But if you head over to 11years.film, you'll be able to catch up. If you love this content, if you love the things that 11FS and Fintech Insider, Blockchain Insider and SureTech Insider have done, uh, we've relaunched the newsletter. So if you head over to 11FS.com forward slash newsletter, you'll stay ahead of all of the breaking curve in terms of the things that are coming out uh, and some of the interesting things that we'll be announcing on there ourselves. And finally, thank you so much for our listeners. You guys support and contribute to everything that we do. And we really couldn't do this without you. Community is fundamentally at the heart of everything that we do as with 11FS. And we love that we have such an active and vocal support in the community in that space, whether it's around the podcast or really just 11FS as a company as a whole. We really, really, really do appreciate you. So thank you very much for everybody for tuning in or watching or reading this year or just supporting 11FS. And from everybody here at HQ, have a really Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Goodbye.